Today's topic is about genomics and proteomics. So in this video, we will learn about what is genome, what is genomics, what is proteome and what is proteomics. So first that is genome means all the DNA contained in the organism or a cell which include both the chromosomes means DNA present in the nucleus and mitochondria. Thus the genome of an organism is the totality of the genes. So genome it is including totality of genes making up its hereditary constitution. Now genomics is the study of the genome and its action. So it involves the analysis of the full DNA sequence of the organism. There is some difference related to the genetics. Genetics means scrutinizing the function and composition of the single gene whereas genomics addressing working of all genes and their interrelationship in order to identify their combined influence on the growth and development of the organism. So genomics it is overall combined influence will be studied while in genetics particular single gene functioning and composition are studied and genome means totality of the gene. Further proteome is the sum of all protein expressed by the genome of an organism. So proteome means sum of all proteins. Further thus proteome involving the identification of the proteins in the body and determination of their role in physiological and pathological function. While the genome remains largely unchanged the protein of a particular cell change dramatically as genes are turned on and off in response to the environment. Simple you can understand that in each and every cell of human being that same genome is present but beta cell of pancreas is able to produce insulin while thyroid cell is able to produce thyroid hormone. So genome of thyroid cell and beta cell of pancreas is same but proteome is different. So in this picture it is simply explained what do you mean by that genome and proteome. DNA related study that is considered genome. Same way RNA related study that is considered as a transcriptome. Further protein related study that is called a proteome. Further there is a one more study that is called a metabolome that is including study of metabolism of all sugar, nucleotide, amino acid and lipid. When there is a study of lipid that is also sometimes called a lipidome. There is a phenotype. So each and every cell have a same type of genotype but functional protein will be differ and that is called a functional protein type that is phenotype. Further in this proteomics directly address the protein complement to the genome. It has been defined as a study of protein property, expression level, post translational modification, interaction etc on a large scale to obtain a global integrated view of a disease process, cellular process and network at the protein level. So there are lots of disease related to the basic structure of the protein. So that is including in this proteomics. So the study of all proteins by cell type or an organism is called a proteomics. Database is giving details of proteome in cell under normal and abnormal conditions are available and can be used to pinpoint defect in a molecular disease. So that is simple genome genomics genomics means all integrated function of the genes for the growth and development of the cell for the proteome means totality of all proteins proteomics there is all interaction related to the protein.